hey, I'm a diagnosed narcissist and I wanted to share my particular experience when it comes to memories because often when I live my life, everything feels extremely disjointed and really broken in pieces that I don't necessarily understand. And I think a lot of that comes from my inability to actually understand myself because every single part of me that I make every single day sort of just dies and disappears. And tomorrow is something else where the next day after that will repeat the same thing where that will also just die and disappear. And it kind of got me thinking about my memories in which I don't really, I guess, see my life in a way that makes sense or have like any sort of like consistency because I realized that I realized that every single time I try to access my memories I don't even know what I'm thinking about in particular if I'm being honest because you know when you look back on something you kind of see it obviously from like a third person perspective I know a lot of people are like okay this is how I was before in comparison to now and there's like a compare and contrast over there. Whereas I feel like I'm always kind of doubting myself in terms of like, wh where am I really like sitting at? Like, am I seeing it from what I think I know right here? And I'm focusing on this perspective. Or am I wearing the mask that I had for that day and completely focusing on that? It's kind of strange because I feel like when I live life and I have conversations with people and let's just say for example they're talking about how like oh this is the kind of person you are I don't really know what that means to me to be honest it's like I only understand it as that is the kind of person that they perceive me to be or at least in their like terms of consistency this is what they specifically choose to notice about me but when I evaluate myself to be honest I don't necessarily think about like the patterns. I really just focus on what I can and I'm able to do right here, right now. What I'm able to prove, what I'm able to like justify, this or that, because I guess these things are always changing depending on who you're dealing with, who this or who that. So it's like when people talk in terms where everything is like connected together, I don't really understand that because I think when I recall the past or I think about like, I guess how people are seeing me so many factors get put in where it's like, obviously they're also seeing it from like their bias. So how am I supposed to take the justification from like other people seriously? And I think what I like to do is try to focus within like first person all the time because I have like an ego that's not fully there. So I'm just constantly trying to develop, let's say somebody who I think that I am right here right now. So if I'm dealing with a particular mold of like the person that I am at this like very second, I'm not going to allow anybody to like distort that like perception of myself because the only person that can distort the perception I have of myself is myself because I know it'll disappear if at one point I switch up to somebody the next day, maybe not even the next day, let's say maybe like the next hour, next like whatever, because life always kind of feels like, you know, a lie and like nothing is actually sort of true. And I don't really know how to explain this to somebody that I guess feels more whole or like doesn't go through anything that someone like me, who's a cluster B person does in terms of like the emptiness and like the, you know, like lack of self, because I think when I deal with other people and I'm trying to understand how I'm understanding myself all the while also trying to take in, let's say the person that I'm dealing with like perception of me and how that will or won't go into like my favor. It feels kind of strange because kind of like what I said before, when I read back, is that the way to say it? Read back or like, I'll just say it like look back in terms of like who I was before and like the things that like escalated or like whatever or like however things like happened or something I don't necessarily forget my life like I understand quote unquote like what happened yesterday what might have happened like a year ago like I'm not saying like I forget like a huge chunk of my life but I guess at times I do forget how I perceived my life like within that moment because I don't know maybe if hypothetically I didn't like the way I perceived my life before at like a certain occasion where maybe I felt down because now I'm on a high of like grandiosity. I don't care about that anymore, let's say, I guess. Or 
I bet if like, okay, the current version of me that let's say, for example, like in a current time is feeling very, very grandiose, feeling like extremely superior, superior meets up with a version of me in a moment where I felt down or like a loser or something like that. I can see those versions of myself completely like arguing with themselves, I guess. And then it kind of makes me wonder, especially when I'm like, I don't know if like compartmentalize is the word because like, you know, kind of like what I said when you're talking about how things are in hindsight, like third person in terms of like how you evaluate them now versus how you were back then. To me, I don't really get it because I think most people see it as like, a, okay, this is everything that like led up to like me right here. The thing that I'm trying to say to myself is like, okay, then who's really me? Like, is it me right now? I mean, I already know that this me right now might just like disappear at like any moment. Or was was the true me, the person back then who I'm now like, let's say neglecting or like no longer care about. It's just like, it's this big like identity crisis in terms of like, okay, who am I like right here, right now? in relation to how I was before, because how I was before is like completely irrelevant to me. But I knew, I knew at the time, at the very least, even if I don't remember how I felt specifically in that moment, whether it was like good or bad, like I knew at the time that was everything that was personal to me. Because everything right now is everything that's personal to me. And if it's not, I simply just don't care anymore because then the void comes out. Then just like, you know, the, the emptiness comes out and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I guess, I don't really know how to explain this, I think, to like somebody who might, let's say, have a better, I guess, like bundle in terms of like who they are, because I'm just like, okay, this entire life is a lie. These like, I don't know, these images, these presentations of like whoever we're trying to present. It's like, I kind of just feel like living life is this like super annoying game of, um, you know, when you, let's say you like a show it's like airing and you have to like catch it on TV at like a particular time, but then maybe you miss certain episodes because on certain days you're like busy. And then you get like a short preview before the episode. Like, let's say you catch the next episode, you missed the last one. And like, you know, they give you like a short preview just to like, you know, recap a little bit in terms of like what happened. You're still trying to process that. I don't know. Let's say just to make it more understandable, it's like a shitty recap. It's like a shitty preview, but it's like, obviously they're not going to be able to put every single thing in the last episode. They have to like try to condense it, I guess, in like the best way to get like the key elements. But like, I feel like living my life is like, okay, it's like you're trying to like, you know, process a small like a recap when at the same time, obviously life keeps going and you have to process what's like currently happening right now. So like when these things are like smashing together, it's like, where truly are you? It's like, where truly are you? And I believe we live in a world where everybody's constantly like manipulating each other and like all this kind of stuff. Then it kind of just like, it circles back to where I think like, okay, there's just like no truth to anything. So when I get told things like, oh, you're consistent, you're this, you're that, I'm kind of just like, well, well, what about you? Because obviously we choose to remember, I guess, like certain things that hold up to us more than like others. And not everybody cares about the same thing, right? Like if you're going to criticize me for something and I don't think it's a big deal, obviously I'm not going to think it's a big deal. If I do the same thing to you, then you reflect the same thing back to me. Because obviously, yeah, our biases are like whatever and like all this kind of stuff. So it's just like, Piecing this, like, entire, like, world together, I guess, like, experiences, like, it just doesn't add up. That's why, like, I kind of just think of, like, death every single day, and I'm just like, it's the only thing that, like, actually makes sense, because, like, death is the thing that, like, stops this, like, madness of, like, life, this cognitive, like, dissonance of, like, life that we're experiencing, this, like, lame distraction that isn't even, like, actually, like valid but we're just like slaves to the survival instinct and like you know here we are so yeah i made this video because i was thinking about like memories nothing specific in particular but i guess just like the progression of my life and i kind of just felt like meh to it so okay you know i t set up the camera i said some stuff so like do what you will with this information but yeah there's your narcissist content for today.